Okay guys, what's up? Uh, here's another quick, how do I do a video? And again, this is one of those things that uh, I try to make this little videos, so little, little improvements and things that I do to the Land Cruiser. But today I wanted to talk about this little guy right here. And uh, actually this part was actually given to me by a friend, uh, Jimmy Johnson from Texas from the I Hate Mud forums. And uh, I was uh, very fortunate to, to get to know Jimmy on uh, email basis, you know, just emailing back and forth. I had some Land Cruiser FJ60 parts that I replaced. Uh, and the old parts uh, were still pretty good. Some of them were in good condition. And I kind of make a post on the forums, like if anybody needed those parts, I will be happy to give it to them. And uh, Jimmy was one of the guys that replied to me and actually uh, took me up on the offer. So I sent him some parts to Texas. And the long story short is that, you know, it kind of turned into a friendship. And I was able to get this latch, um, little latch opener or lock, if you will, for the glove compartment for my 60. It turns out that mine was broken. And Jimmy just happened to have a spare one in his shop. And because I sent him some parts before, he actually sent me this bad boy. And, you know, for completely for free. So, Jimmy, thank you for that. But anyway, this video today is just going to be trying to replace this, this uh, latch or lock, if you will, for my glove box that is broken on my FJ60. So I wanted to, to work on that and it's just not gonna be really long, but uh, just a little how-to video of how I replaced this. Cause mine, you know, it was so old that this plastic part just kind of like disintegrated. Um, and this one is in pretty good condition compared to mine, but without this plastic part, it's really hard to kind of like turn the little knob so you can open and close the glove box. So I'm gonna work on that and I'll let you guys know how it goes. Okay guys, here we are. And as you can see, the latch on mine, it just kind of broke, man. It really, like the plastic piece just kind of like disintegrated. But worse than that is that this thing is really hard. It's almost impossible to open. Um, to open that without, you know what I mean? Like without putting a ton of pressure. Uh, like I can't even do it like that. I probably need like a set of pliers to open it. But anyway, the idea is that I got the new one right here. Or or not, well, I'm gonna say not new, but new or too new to me, I guess. And I'm gonna install install the bus this bad boy. So I gotta get this thing open, uh remove a couple of screws that goes here, and then uh replace that. And just basically it's just two little screws. You can see that right there. It's kind of hard to see because it's it's uh it's nighttime and I always work at nighttime in my shop. But anyways, that's kind of the project. I'm gonna get that done and we'll head back in a second. Okay, so I'm gonna open this thing up and start from there. So basically, I'm just using a pair of pliers to pry that open, and this is how hard it is. But as you can see now, it opens and. Uh, you can see the little the latch for the door here has a couple of screws we'll replace those um, take those out and replace it with the new ones and get this thing changed uh, but yeah that's my glove box I still have the original <laughs> 1984 owner's manual for the Toyota Land Cruiser but look at that Still in pretty decent shape, actually. I was looking at it the other day, and uh, it's kind of hard to believe that that thing is decades old. <laughs> kind of cool, but anyway, that's kind of like a side note. But um, I'm gonna be working on this and taking this guy out, and I'll, I'll see after I install the, the new one how it goes. So anyway, very simple, just kind of take these little screws out. There. Not 
nothing to it. Next screw. You can see how the little plastic cover was broken too. I can probably glue that and try to save that as well. All these plastic pieces, man, are like they're like gold these days because it's hard to find a lot of these pieces. But anyways, I'll take this out. Uh, and after that, there you go. Got the guy out, and you can see how that plastic knob, right, was attached to this to this part and it just kind of broke and I guess dry rotted over the years and just kind of disintegrated. So that's, you know, so it's kind of hard to open and close it because it was kind of like fuse there into the plastic. It just needed lubrication, I guess. But anyways, so here's the latch. It still works. It just doesn't have that knob that makes it so easy to open and close. I guess technically I could try to make a little knob for it or try to fit another one or even glue the one that I have and try to make it work, you know, so this could still be used. It just needs to be, I guess, lubricated and maybe that plastic knob uh, changed. So anyway, maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll offer this on the forums to see if anybody if anybody can use it along with this plastic if anybody needs one um you know i'll just give it to them and again it's just one of those things i offer sometimes the spare parts like that and you know that's how you get to know people and other people send you different things but anyway here's the here's the one that uh, jimmy sent me from texas and i'm going to replace that bad boy there and we'll take it from there all right and so there it is just gonna tie this a little bit, you know, just put it back, tie this two screws. That's pretty good. And let's see if it works. Perfect. Open. Close. So there it is. Well, my first Im impression is that this one is a lot softer than mine was, so I don't know what's wrong with mine. Maybe it was just like dry rotted and the plastic and the metal fuse where the knob is. But this one, I can tell that, you know, it's just so much easier to open and close. So that seems to be holding pretty well. And uh, it looks awesome. Um, yeah, this This is just a little magnet that I have there. Um, but anyways, looks good, and it's another great addition to the interior of the Land Cruiser, and it's just, you know, those little things, those little details that make the build uh, so much better. So anyways, thanks Jimmy for the for the gift, and uh, it, was, it was a nice install, and hopefully this video helps other people, um, you know, replace theirs. And I'll post a link to uh, to those on the forums. See if anybody wants them. And uh, yeah, I'll just give it away. All right, thanks guys for watching, and we'll catch you again in some other video.